1812, when Louisiana was made a state, the remaining area of the Louisiana Purchase was renamed the Missouri Territory. But just before it was being created, Missouri was rocked by a natural disaster, so terrifying that many here quickly wondered whether living on the frontier was actually a good idea after all. What happened on May 22, 2011 will never be forgotten in western Missouri. On that hot, muggy afternoon, a supercell thunderstorm formed over southeastern Kansas. As the giant thundercloud grew and crossed the Missouri line, it spawned a massive E5 tornado that headed straight for the city of Joplin. The twister, with winds of more than 200 miles per hour, tore right through town, causing almost $3 billion worth of damage. Over 1,000 people were injured, 158 died, making it the deadliest tornado ever recorded in the U.S. Entire blocks of the city were demolished. Even though Missouri lies just outside Tornado Alley, dozens of twisters still touch down in the state every year. But 200 years before Joplin, just as Missouri was preparing to become a new U.S. territory, settlers in one frontier town discovered that devastating forces can also come from deep under this land and erupt suddenly with catastrophic force. The terrifying events they experienced are known as the New Madrid Quakes. It all started at 2.15 a.m. on December 16, 1811. That's when a series of massive earthquakes suddenly started rocking the Midwest. They registered more than 7.5 on the Richter scale. The epicenter was the Missouri frontier town of New Madrid, which lies on the Mississippi River. The shockwave spread out for hundreds of miles, affecting an area 10 times as large as that of the infamous 1906 quake in San Francisco. Some tremors even managed to wake up President James Madison in Washington, D.C., more than 700 miles away. But here in New Madrid, the ground shook so violently in the night that many thought the world was coming to an end. One eyewitness later wrote, the screams of the affrighted inhabitants running to and fro, the cries of the fowls and beasts of every species formed a scene truly horrible. The inhabitants fled in every direction. Since the quake struck under the Mississippi River itself, they pushed the river's waters up into great swells, which caused, briefly, the Mississippi River to run backwards. On land, there was devastation everywhere. A lot of people think that the devil has come here, one resident later said. What exactly caused this disaster here in southeastern Missouri remains a mystery. Recently, researchers discovered that massive quakes have actually rocked the Midwest since as early as 2350 BC. What they don't know is what exactly caused these earthquakes, since this area doesn't sit on the edge of tectonic plates. The Midwest is riddled with ancient faults, but scientists don't yet have a clear picture of why some of them are still seismically active. But based on past events, what they do know is that it's only a matter of time before the ground starts shaking again under this small Missouri town. 